The fifth learning objective from section 3.5 is to interpret output from a statistical program and or calculator to interpret a confidence interval, for example, GeoGebra. A Pew Research Center study conducted in February 2019 asked 1,502 U.S. adults about their social media use, and 557 reported that they use Instagram. GeoGebra output is given below for a confidence interval for these data. We've talked in previous videos about how to um, get this GeoGebra output yourself, but for our exams, you also need to be able to interpret GeoGebra output that is given to you. So let's do a quick review. You can see that the confidence level is given right here. This is a 95% confidence interval. The data that was given to us, the 557 people that use Instagram out of the 1,502 people in the sample, shown right here. And then the lower limit and the upper limit are the values for the confidence interval. So to identify the confidence interval, we'll write this as an interval. So 0 0.3464 up to 0 0.3957, uh, sorry, 0 0.3953. And then let's write an interpretation for the confidence interval. When we interpret a confidence interval, we want to talk about how confident we are that the interval captures the true parameter. Our parameter here is the proportion of all U.S. adults who use Instagram. So the interpretation would look something like this. We are 95% confident that the interval from 0.3464 to 0.3953 contains the true proportion of all U.S. adults who use Instagram. Let's look at a second example. An environmental science teacher at a high school with a large population of, population of students wanted to estimate the proportion of students at the school who regularly recycle plastic bottles. The teacher selected a random sample of students at the school to survey. Each selected student went into the teacher's classroom one at a time and was asked to respond yes or no to the following question. Do you regularly recycle plastic bottles? Of the 60 students who were sampled, 42 answered yes to the question. Now there are some possible issues with bias here if these 60 students actually are taking the class and have to tell their teacher whether that or not they recycle. But for now, let's just look at the output and interpret the results. So here's the output here. And the question says, what is the 95% confidence interval for the proportion of all students at the high school who recycle plastic bottles? So again, we can see the confidence interval right here, the lower and upper limits. We know this is a 95% confidence interval, which is what we're being asked for. So 0 0.0584 up to 0 0.816. And the next question says, does this interval indicate that a majority of students recycle plastic bottles? Well, a majority means that over 50% do what we're asking about. So is it, do these results say that over 50% of all the students at the high school recycle plastic bottles? Well, the confidence interval that we've computed give us, gives us a range of likely values for the proportion of all students at the high school who recycle plastic bottles. You can see that that goes from, if we change these decimals to percents, 58.4% up to 81.6%. Now, is it possible that the value, the true proportion, is somewhere outside that interval? Yes, it's possible, but it's not likely. At 95% confident, confidence, we believe that it is between those two values. So does this indicate that a majority recycle? Yes, it does, since the entire interval is above 50%.